Well, thanks for being here today. Good to see you both. Today we're going to be doing a nice gentle asana with a yoga nidra. So let's come to a standing position. Bring your hands to heart center and have your feet about hip width apart, opening up through the toes. Taking some deep breaths. Tuning in with your breath and leaving behind all the busyness of your morning. You've done the hardest part already, it's getting here. Let's lengthen out our breaths a little bit. So taking a breath in for four counts. Pause and then breathe out for six. Breathing in for four. And breathing out for six. Let's continue on with that cycle. Noticing underneath your feet Imagining that you are able to have roots from the bottom of your feet down into the earth. And as you breathe in, you're breathing up all the beautiful energy from the earth, up through your feet and your legs, through the base of your spine, all the way up through the spine, the shoulders, the arms, and then out through the top of your crown. Each time you do that, just imagine that beautiful energy coming up as you inhale, bring all the energy up and exhale. Let's take a few more here. As you do that, scanning your body, noticing how you feel. And scanning your mind, noticing how your mind is Acknowledge any thoughts that come and go, just let them go. The next 45 minutes is for you for some beautiful movement and some restorative yoga nidra. And then let's release our hands. Let's inhale, lift our arms up. Lift our chest and raise our gaze. And exhale, bring our arms back down. Inhale up. Welcome, Caroline. And exhale, bring your arms down. So as you inhale, opening up the chest, lifting your chest, lifting your gaze. It's a nice gentle movement into your shoulders. And bring your arms up to cactus. And we're going to exhale, go to the right. Nice twist and inhale to the center and exhale to the left. Just getting a little bit of rotation in our spine. Let's do one more on each side. And then coming back to center. And we're going to inhale, bring our arms up above us, clasp our fingers and press our palms up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, stretch through the left side of the body. Inhale, come back up to the center and exhale through the other side. Just having a nice stretch through all the planes of the spine. The shoulders and the arms. Focusing on your breathing. And one more each side.
And then release your hands, bring your feet a little wider. And let's bring our hands down to the mat, coming into a wide-legged forward bend, bringing your palms flat on the mat, heel toe your feet out a bit wider and allow your crown of your head to point down to the mat. Connecting with the stretch through the back of the legs. Let your shoulders and head fall heavy. Opening up all the little spaces in your vertebrae, releasing any tension in your lower back. Softening your eyes, coming back to your breath. Let's slow your breath down again. Big breath in for four and breathing out for six. And one more round of breathing. And then walking your hands forward. Bringing your feet a little closer together, coming into your first downward dog, pressing your heels down into the mat. Feeling the stretch down the back of your legs as you press your heels down, feel the stretch in your calf muscles. And then come down onto all fours, into tabletop position, your feet nice and your knees nice and wide underneath your hips, opening up through your fingers, pressing the palms into the mat. Inhale, lift up your chest, raise your gaze into cow and exhale, stretch your back up into cat. Just moving with your breath through cat and cow, warming up your spine. Let your breath initiate the movement. And choosing a theme for your practice today. We're doing yoga nidra. So it might be about restoring, restoring your energy, restoring your balance. Just got a couple more rounds. And then take your knees wide. And bring your buttocks down to your heels. Walk your hands forward, bringing your forehead down to the mat. Stretching through the hips and the lower back. Walking your fingers forward, getting a nice stretch through the shoulders. Let's take a couple of breaths here. And then take your left hand over to the right side of the mat and place it on top of the right hand, stretching through the left side of your body. And then walking hands over to the left side of the mat, placing the left hand on the bottom, right hand on top, stretching the right side of the body here. And then coming back to center. Tuck your toes under and come up into downward dog. Take a couple of breaths and really stretching through the back of the legs, stretching the hamstrings and the glutes and the shoulders. And then inhale, bring your chest forward, bring your knee down to the mat, come into upward dog. And exhale, coming back into downward dog. We'll move through this flow for a few rounds. Stretching the front of the body into upward dog and stretching the back of the body in downward dog. And then meeting us all in downward dog, 
walk your feet out wide and walk your hands up underneath you into a wide-legged forward bend. Allow your crown of your head to point down to the mat. You'll throw your feet a little wider. So you feel the weight of your feet on the outside edge. Allow your head to fall heavy here and your shoulders. Connecting with the stretch down the back of your legs and your lower back. Let's take four breaths here, four nice, long, deep breaths. And then walking your hands forward, lift your chest. Heel toe your feet a little closer together. Lift your chest, stretching your back, and then come up to standing. And give your body a little shake. Let's take our left foot out to the side, step forward with our right foot. Inhale, lift our arms, raise our gaze into warrior one. Hips and shoulders pointing forward and connecting with a stretch through the left hips, left hip flexor, reaching up towards the ceiling. Let's take a few breaths here. And one more breath. Take the right hand forward, left hand back into warrior two. Elongate through the hands, nice and strong on the right leg. And inhale, lift up the right hand. Drop the left hand down the back of the left leg and reaching up as high as you can with that right hand, stretching through the right side of the body. One more breath. And then bring the right hand down beside the right foot. If you have a block, you can place your hand on the block. Lengthen out the right leg and inhale, lift up the left hand. So coming into triangle pose. Gazing up towards the left hand. Let's take a few breaths here. Connecting with a stretch down the back of the left leg and stretching through the front of the chest. One more breath. As you exhale, bring the left hand down, bring it down to the mat and inhale, lift up the right hand into a twisted triangle, feeling that stretch through the right glutes and right hamstring and through the chest. Gazing up to the right hand, nice twist. And exhale, bring the right hand down to the mat. And we're going to come into a lizard pose from here. So with your left hand, right hand next to your right foot, left hand beside that, allowing your body to stretch through the right hip. You can bring your knee down to the ground here if you wish or you can have the knee up. And then we're gonna inhale, lift up the right hand, coming into a lizard twist. So getting a nice opening through the hips and through the right glutes. And then exhale, bring the right hand down, step forward with the left foot and come back up to standing. That's it, good. Give your legs a little shake and we'll take it to the other side. Stepping the left foot forward, turning the right toes out. Inhale, bending the left knee, lifting the chest, lifting the hands, raise the gaze. Connect to the stretch through the right hip flexor, reaching up nice and tall. Let's take a few breaths here. Reaching up as high as you can. And on the next exhalation, take the left hand forward, right hand back. Nice and strong through the left thigh. Gazing towards the left thumb. 
One more breath here. And then inhale, lift up the left hand, slide the right hand down the back of the right leg and reach up towards the sky or the ceiling, stretching through the left side of the body. One more breath here. And then on the next exhalation, bring the left hand down to the mat next to your left foot. If you have your block, you can place the block next to the left foot. Inhale, lift up the right hand, coming into triangle pose, straightening out the left leg. So you're in a nice, strong stretch through the back of the left leg, gazing up towards the right hand, opening up and stretching through the chest. Just take a couple of breaths. And on the exhalation, bring the right hand down, bring it down to the block or down to the mat. And then inhale, lift the left arm up into a twisted triangle. Just take a few breaths here and connect with a stretch through the back of the left glute. And then exhale, bring the left hand down. Left hand just inside the left foot and the right hand down on the ground. So from here, we co we've come into lizard pose. We can drop the right knee and noticing the opening through the hip on the left side and also stretching through the right thigh. And you can stay here if you wish, or you can lift up the right knee, pick up the left hand and raise it up into twisted lizard. Couple of breaths and then drop the left hand back to the mat. Jump forward with the right foot and come back up to standing. Give your legs a shake. Let's give our hips a little circle. We've done quite a lot of hip opening on there. We'll do one more. We're gonna come into a yogi squat. So from here, feet are about hip width apart, toes pointing out. And we're gonna bring our hands to our heart center, squatting down, having our chest up. So you can come to uh, this level or you can go deeper depending on how your body feels. If you go deeper, coming down and pressing your elbows against your knees. Let's hold this. So coming back to the theme of your practice around restoring and balancing your body. Let's take three more breaths here. That's it, nice chest up, nice and tall. And then bring your hands down to the mat and come down to the mat onto your back. Hug your knees up into your chest and roll your body in a little circle, releasing any tension that you might have in your lumbar spine around the lower back area. Having your feet up off the ground, we're going to take our arms out to the side and then control our knees to the right side, looking to the left, so like a windscreen wiper. Keeping your shoulders on the ground as much as you can so you get a nice stretch through the chest. Gazing to the left with your knees to the right. So relaxing here into the stretch. Each exhalation, allow your body to go a little more into the twist. Softening your eyes. Let's take a couple more breaths. And then inhale, lift your knees up to center and gaze towards the ceiling. And then exhale, 
taking knees to the left, gazing to the right, twisting to the right, to the left side this time, and noticing the twist down the right side of your body. Softening your shoulders into the mat. And let's take four long deep breaths here. On each exhalation, allow your body to twist a little more. And on the next inhalation, bring your knees back to center. Take your right foot to the mat and cross your left foot in front of the right thigh. Reach forward and hug that left leg and left knee towards the chest, releasing any tension you might have in the glute area on the left side. Taking a few breaths here. And then releasing the right foot to the mat, keep the left leg bent. Use your right hand to draw the left knee towards the right side and left hand straight out from your shoulder, gazing towards the left. So coming into a little bit more of a twist this time. Use the right hand to guide that knee towards the mat and connect with the stretch down the left side of the body. Let's take a few breaths here. Feel the organs in the lower body all getting massaged here as well. Really good for the digestion. And then inhale, bring the knees back to centre and change your legs over. Cross the right leg over the left, left foot on the ground, and then hug up that right knee towards your chest. And you can reach through to the left thigh or the left shin if, you, if your body allows that. Connecting with the stretch through the right glute, releasing any tension you might have in the lower back area. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And then release your left foot to the mat. Keep the leg crossed and put the left hand on the right knee and draw that right knee to the left side with your right hand straight out from your shoulder, gazing towards the right side. Draw the, the knee towards the left side of the mat and relax. Relax your shoulders into the mat and connect with the stretch down the right side of the body and through the chest. Take a couple more nice long breaths here. And notice how your organs in the stomach area are all being massaged in this twist. One more breath. And then inhale back to center. Uncross your legs and hug your knees to your chest. And roll that in a little circle releasing any tension you might have from that twist, just flushing out your spine. And then reach through your knees towards the outside edge of your feet and lift the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling into happy baby. And flattening out your spine, nice stretch through the lower back and through the legs. Allow your shoulders and your head to relax into the mat. Let's take a few breaths. And then release your hands. Bring your feet back down to the mat. Coming back to your breath. Bringing the left hand to your heart and the right hand to your belly. Noticing the rise and the fall in your chest and your belly as you breathe in and out. And coming back to the theme of your practice. 
around balance and restoring your energy. We'll do one more pose. We'll take our legs up in the air into a shoulder stand or legs up the wall or supported legs up, whichever one you feel like doing today. So inhale, bring your feet up towards the ceiling. And if you're in shoulder stand, holding your hips with your hands and bringing your elbows a little closer together. Coming back to your breath. Circling your ankles. Give your legs a little shake so they feel nice and light. Slowing down your breath. Bring your feet out wide. Just enjoying the inversion. It's great for your immunity and circulatory system. Bring your feet together, knees out wide. And then lifting your feet up towards the ceiling. If you're in a shoulder stand, you might like to take your feet over your head towards the floor behind you into plow pose, stretching out the spine and the shoulders. You can drop your hands down to the mat. Take a few more breaths here. And then on the next inhalation, gently lowering your spine down to the mat. And bring your feet down to the mat and coming into a comfortable position for your yoga nidra. Coming into a savasana, you might like to have your legs supported, your knees supported for your lower back with bent knees or out flat. If you have a blanket, you might like to put that over yourself. Getting into a nice comfortable position. If you have an eye pillow, you can use an eye pillow. Taking three long, deep, relaxing breaths. Becoming aware of any sounds that you can hear in this moment. Nothing else but what you can hear without strain. Begin to focus on the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing radiate outward, searching out these distant sounds and following them for a few moments. Move your attention from sound to sound without labeling the source. And gradually bring your attention closer to the sounds, to sounds outside your building, building, to sounds inside your building, to sounds inside your room. Without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls of your room, the ceiling, the floor, your body lying on the floor. Visualize your body lying on the floor, the position of your body, your clothes, your hair, your face. Become acutely aware of your existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Become aware of your natural breath. Become aware of your natural and spontaneous breath that moves in and out of your body without any effort. The natural breath flows in through both nostrils. Notice the feeling of the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils. 
There's a sense of coolness as you inhale the breath. Follow this feeling into your nose, your sinuses, the back of your throat, into your lungs. There's a sense of warmth as you exhale the breath. Feel this warmth on your upper lip as you breathe out. The natural breath flows through both nostrils during the inhale and the exhale. Allow your breath to become longer and slower. Take a long, slow inhalation, followed by a longer, slower exhalation. Make your exhale even slower. Notice the slight pause after the exhale. Slow inhale, even slower exhale and pause. Feel the urge to breathe bubble up inside you. When you need to inhale, please do so. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower exhale. And then pause where the body is neither breathing in nor out. Please continue breathing in this way. And now go back to your natural, easy breath, releasing any control over the inhale or the exhale. The practice of yoga nidra begins now. At this moment, you should make your resolution. The re resolution should be short, positive statement and simple language. Try to discover one naturally. Please state your resolution clearly and with awareness three times. The resolution you make during Yoga Nidra plants the seeds in the fertile ground of your mind to bring about transformation and healing. Also say to yourself, I'm practicing Yoga Nidra, I'm awake and relaxed. We'll now begin a systematic journey of sensory awareness throughout the body. You'll move your awareness to different parts of the body as soon as you hear them named. Please state the name of the part to yourself and feel that part of your body, but do not move any part. The practice begins on the right side, right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of your hand, back of your hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf, 
ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, big left toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Now go to the back of the body, right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, right thigh, left thigh, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, middle back, upper back, the entire spine, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, both lips together, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, right groin, left groin, pelvic floor, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, whole right arm, whole left arm, the whole face, the whole head, the whole torso, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Now imagine the whole body becoming light as though your body could float away from the floor towards the ceiling. The head is light and weightless. The limbs are light and weightless. The torso is light and weightless. The whole body is light and weightless. You're rising higher and higher away from the floor. Imagine your body becoming heavy. Feel the heaviness in all parts of the body. Each part is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. The head is heavy, the limbs are heavy, the torso is heavy, the whole body is heavy, so heavy that it's sinking down into the floor. Awaken the experience of cold in the body, the experience of chilly cold. Imagine being outside in winter without enough clothing. You feel this chill permeating your entire body. Now allow the sensation of warmth to spread throughout the entire body. Remember the feeling of heat in summer when you're out in the sun with no shade. You feel heat radiating onto your skin and heat all around the body.
recollect the experience of anxiety, intense anxiety and worry. Feel the stress in your mind and your body, but do not concentrate on its source. Create the experience of anxiety as clearly as possible. Now allow the feeling of complete calm to envelope you. Manifest the experience of calm in your entire body, mind and emotions. You are relaxed and aware. You are completely calm. Begin to concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine before you a transparent screen as though you're at the movie theater. The screen is as high and as wide as your eyes can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Colors, patterns, and light. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. If any supple images make themselves known, simply notice them without directing the images. If thoughts occur, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Now a number of different things will be named and you should envision them on the level of emotion, memory and imagination as best you can. Jump from image to image as soon as you hear it. A red desert, peacock feather, the Buddha meditating, a good night's rest, full moon, your reflection in a mirror, foggy morning, waiting for results, sun shining overhead, a bouquet of flowers, a tall tree, receiving help from others, cool, clear water, a relaxing afternoon, laughing with friends, a warm embrace, burning candle, temple on a mountain, path in the woods, vibrant sunset, taking a deep breath, cat stretching, a beautiful garden path, your favorite song, the sound of my voice, your body lying on the floor. It's time to repeat your resolution. Please repeat the same statement made at the beginning of the practice three times mentally now. Come back to the feeling of your breath flowing in and out of your nostrils. Maintain your awareness of breath and at the same time, develop your awareness of your physical body. Your body is relaxed and lying on the floor. Feel the container of your skin and the clothes and props that are touching you. Notice the heaviness in the body as it rests on the floor 
and take your awareness into all points that are touching the floor. The back of your heels, thighs, buttocks, shoulder blades, arms, hands and head. Do not open your eyes yet, but visualize the surrounding room. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects around you. Lie quietly until you feel ready to move. Start by slowly moving your hands and your feet. Take your time, there's no hurry. When you're sure that you're fully awake, gently open your eyes and please roll over to your right side. Stay on your right side for a few more moments and use your hands to gently press yourself up from the floor. Let your head come up last. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. Coming back to our breath. And bring our hands to our forehead for kind thoughts, to our lips for kind words, and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste.